Welcome to Highline BI 348 class number 25. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, BI 348 chapter 2 start or the finished file, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to learn about the percentile calculation. And percentile is quite easy. All it does is create a marker in a sorted data set that divides the set into two parts with about p percent below the marker and 1 minus p percent above the marker. Now, if I say 90 percentile, what I mean is I need a marker in this set that will say, hey, 10% of the values are above the 90th percentile, and 90% of the values will be below. In fact, Control Shift Down Arrow, you can see this goes down to the 109th row. So that's all it does. And we've all heard it in regular language, the 75th percentile, the 90th percentile. Now, we need to talk about the four functions. There's percentile functions and quartile. And quartile just spits out markers for 25, 50, and 75th percentiles. But there's an EXC function and an INC function. The only difference between these two is that when you see dot .exc, that means if you give it 0 or 100%, it will not calculate the min and the max. For INC, if you give it 0% and 100%, it'll calculate the min and the max. And now we want to actually look at the different algorithms, because there's not just one way to figure out percentile. There's different algorithms. And of course, the EXC and INC functions use slightly different algorithms. Now here's our goal. We want to calculate the 90th percentile in this score data set. The first thing is we have to count. So I'm going to use the count function to count numbers. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace. So we have 100 records. Now a simple way to calculate percentile is simply to say, hey, I'm going to take 100 times 90%. And of course, that will give us the 90th position. The problem with that is if we take the 90th position, then there's not exactly 10% above and 90% below. Now, if we did this method, then the actual marker would be 319th. Because when we sorted this list, that's the 90th value. These other two algorithms do a little bit better of getting in between the 90th and the 91st value. So it's actually going to calculate a value right in between there. And for this example, there'll be exactly 10% above, 90% below. Of these two algorithms, this one that the .exe function uses is more common. And even internally in Excel, like the data analysis feature, and even in Excel 2016, the awesome box plot chart they have, that uses the .exe. So here's how it works. Instead of taking the 100, we're going to say, hey, I'm going to take whatever the count is, plus one more, and then multiply that times the 90th percent. So look at that. That gives me 90.9. Here's the 90th. Here's the 91st. That means the value positionally will be right in between there. And it will divide the set into 10% above, 90% below. Now, the way you calculate this is because it's 0.9, there's an interval here. The difference between 23 and 19, the distance of 4, we want to go 90% of the way through that distance of 4. So if we're calculating it longhand, we'd say, oh, well, we need the 90th value of 319. And we're going to add just a little bit to it. And it's going to involve the distance between 91 and 90 times the 0.9. And I'm not going to uh, click on that because I'm going to change that. And I want this to remain. So times 90. And that gives us 90% of the way through. And you can clearly see that 22.6 is in between these two. So that would be our marker. We don't have to do it longhand because equals percentile dot exc, control shift down arrow, control backspace. And I'm actually going to click on the array and control c because I'm going to use that range a bunch, comma, and then the k is simply whatever your percentile percentage is, control enter. 
a lot easier than having to do it longhand. Now, the problem with .exe, even though it's common, is that you can't put a 0% here. Ooh, you get a num error. And really, we can see from this calculation that if your algorithm is the count plus 1, and you always multiply it times the percentage, then of course, when 0 is there, you're going to get 0. The other problem is 100%. Well, then you're going to get 101, and there's not a 101st value in our data set. Now again, most of the time, you don't need to do, and I'm going to control Z easy. Now most of the time, you don't need 0 and 100, because percentiles are dividing the set. And if you want to calculate the 100th, the max, you just do max, and 0 would be the min. There is a five number summary where you get the min, quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3, and the max, which requires the min and the max. So if there was an algorithm and a built-in function like these INCs, then it would be easier to get those five numbers. So let's see how this algorithm works. It's going to take the n times the p, and notice that will give us 90. And we're going to add a little bit. And inside parentheses, we say 1 minus 90%. Close parentheses. Now you can see right here, it will give us 90. And then 100 minus 90% will give us 0.1. So the position here, well, that's percentage number formatting, Control Shift tilde, or grave accent, to apply the general number formatting. 90.1 is the position. And that means. Here's 90. Here's 91. We need to go 10% through the interval to get our marker. So equals, well, there's the 90th plus, and we need to do our little bit, the difference between 91 and 90, close parentheses. And I'm going to multiply it times, and I'm just going to type this in, 0.1. And when I enter 319.4, it's 10% of the way through the interval, right? It's still a marker, boom, in between those. So 10% above, 90% below. We don't have to do it longhand. Equals percentile.inc, control V, comma, and I'm going to put this 90. Now we can see if I put a 0 here, the percentile.inc actually gets the min value. And if I put 100%, it gets exactly the max. Now let's look at why this is working, right? The actual 100 times 100%, well, that will give you 100 plus, well, what's 1 minus 100%? 0. If we put a 0% here, that means the first value in the sorted list at the bottom, right? But look at this. It says. 100 times 0, well, that gives us 0. And actually, we could even F9 to prove that. And then, of course, 1 minus 0% gives us 1. So it'll always give us number 1, the first position. So that's how that algorithm works. I'm going to leave this at 90%. Now, I actually want to change this to 75%, because now we want to look at quartile. And we'll see that when you do percentile, EXE or INC, you'll get exactly the same thing if you say quartile 3 for either one of these. All it's going to do, if we say quartile 3, it'll calculate percentile 75. All right, so you ready? Equals quartile.exe, Control V for that range, comma, and there's my 3. And it gives me exactly the same number. Equals quartile.inc, Control V, comma, and there we'll have for INC the exact same as percentile.inc was 75%. That's how the algorithms work and these functions work. But now let's see the five number summary. And I'm going to try percentile here. And notice off to the side I have 0, 25, 0.5 which in fact will always give us the value in the middle, which of course is the median, then 0.75 and 1 for the max. Equals percentile dot INC, control V for the range, comma, and I'm going to get 0, control Enter. And of course, it gives me the min. Oh, I forgot to lock this. Watch this. Click right there, F4 to lock it, control C, because I'm going to use it a bunch. Control Enter and copy it down. And so the convenience of INC is, of course, if we need our five number summary, 
min, quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3, and max. If I come down here to quartile, I have a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4, because for quartile, you put in those numbers. And they will give you min, 25, 50, 75 for percentile, and max equals quartile.inc, control V, comma, and I'm going to get that 0 right there, control Enter, double click, and send it down. So for both percentile and quartile, the INC is convenient when you want your five number summary. Now just to show you here, the error we will get, percentile.exe, control V, Arrow key, it's just not going to do 0 and 1. It does the middle ones, 25, 50, and 75%. And similarly for the quartile.exe, Control-V, comma, arrow, Control-Enter. That num arrow says that 0 and that 4 is not allowed. Now I want to go look at one more example on this PER. QUAR, here is a sample of monthly salaries for accounting in Oakland. And I want to use the quartile function. So quartile.inc, because I want to do my five number summary. The array, I'm going to hit F4 to lock it, comma. And look at that drop down. We're using INC, so it's polite. It reminds you that you can put any one of these numbers in. Right arrow, right arrow. I see I got two cells to my right. Control Enter and copy it down. And I have my five number summary. Min, quartile 1, quartile 2, 3, and the max. Dividing the data set into four pieces with the quartiles, but also showing the min and the max. Now for this min, no other values lie below that min. For this value right here, which is our quartile 1 marker, about 25% of the values lie below 4,400, and about 75% of the values lie above. For quartile 2, that's also the median. About 50% of the values lie below, and about 50% of the values lie above that quartile 2 or median marker. For quartile 3, about 75% of the values lie below, and about 25% above. And of course, the max, all other values lie below the max value. We could do the same thing with percentile dot I and C. Highlight F4 comma right, right arrow, control enter, double click and send it down. All right, so in this video, we talked about percentile and quartile. They are simply markers which divide the set. And we also talked about the quartile.inc, percentile.inc, and also the exc extension. All right, next video, our last video for this chapter, we'll talk about box plots. All right, see you next video.